Box method multiplication. When we have a math problem or a problem in life, there's more than one way to find the solution. To multiply two-digit numbers or larger, we can use the long form method, which is the typical way. We would multiply the 2 times the 4 and get 8. Then we would multiply the 2 times the 1 for 2 times 10, because it's in the tens place, isn't it? So that we would have a 2 in our tens place and we'd have 28. Well, this is the typical way to do multiplication. But we can also use what's called the box method to find multiplication products. For 14 times 2, we make two boxes because there's two place values in 14. And we break the number up into the place value, so a 14 would be a 10 and a 4. And we multiply the multiplier, the 2, by the number above the first box, and we write the product in the box. 2 times 10 is 20. Then we multiply the multiplier by the number above the next box and write the product in that box. 2 times 4 is 8. So now our products, our answers are in the box. And we add the partial products together that are within the boxes. And we get 20 plus 8, which equals 28. The box method could be useful for mental math or written math. If you're doing two-digit numbers, that'll help you do mental math. It might be a little harder when you get to three, four digits. For 237 times 4, we put the multiplier out here. We break this apart into its three place values. So we have three boxes. We have 200, a 30, and a 7. We multiply 4 times the 200 and get 800 and write it in the box. Then we multiply 4 times the 30. That's 120. We write it in the box. It's like 4 times 3 is 12 with an extra 0, isn't it? This one was like 4 times 2 is 8 with two zeros. See that? Then we do 4 times 7, which is 28, and we add the partial products. 800 plus 120 plus 28 equals 948. Let's try it with a bigger number. Now we have a four-digit number, and we're going to put our multiplier here on the outside of the box. We're going to break this into four of its place values as See, we have four boxes, 3,000, 100, 20, and a 6. And we multiply 7 times the 3,000. That's like 7 times 3 with three zeros, so it's 21,000. Then we multiply the 7 times the 100. That's like 7 times 1 with two zeros, so that's a 700. Then we multiply the 7 times the 20. That's like 7 times 2 is 14 with one zero. Then we multiply the 7 times 6, which is 42. We add the partial products, and we get 21,882. So this is just an alternative way of solving the problem. See? You could use the long form method. That's what most people are going to use anyway. This is just an alternative method, OK, to open up your mind, all right? To do 23 times 17, we have two boxes for the 20 and we have two boxes for the 3. We broke the 23 into a 20 and a 3. We broke the 17 into a 10 and a 7. See that? We do 20 times 10, which is the same as 2 times 1, which is 2, and we have a 0 and a 0, so we have a 2 and a 0 and a 0. We have 200. Then we do 20 times 7, which is the same thing as 2 times 7 with an extra 0, so that's 14, and the 0 makes 140. Now it's the 3's turn. The 3 gets multiplied to the 10 and to the 7. We get 30 and 21. Now we add these four partial products together. We have 200, we have 140, we have 30 and 21, and we get 391. We can even do it with much larger numbers like 3,126 times 12. The 12 gets broken into a 10 and a 2, and this 3,126 gets broken into a 3,000, a 100, a 20, and a 6. We do our multiplication. 10 times 3,000 is 30,000. 10 times 100 is 1,000. 10 times 20 is 200. 10 times 6 is 60. Now it's the 2's turn. 
We do 2 times 3,000, which is 6,000, 2 times 100, which is 200, 2 times 20, which is 40, and 2 times 6, which is 12. We add all of these up, we add all of these up, or you could make one big column and add them all up together. We add the partial products and we get 37,512. So if you want to do big multiplication and you're not really good at doing the long form for big multiplication like this, you could use the box method. And the box method is similar to the break apart strategy. We learned that in fourth grade where if we have 3 times 17, we can do 3 times 10 plus 3 times 7. 3 times 10 is 30 plus 3 times 7 is 21, and that's 51. You could do that mental math. You can think in your head, well, the 17 is a 10 and a 7, and 3 times 10 is 30, and 3 times 7 is 21, and then you add them together. My trick for doing mental math is you start with the bigger numbers first. You start with the bigger place value. See, like 10. Even when you're adding, if you wanted to add uh, two-digit numbers, mental math, you start with the tens place instead of the ones place like you would on paper because sometimes that's easier for mental math. So I hope this was helpful. And like I always say, I hope you're having a great day. And try to do the best you can, and I'll see you next time. Bye.